Hi, I started to have a look at uh, how these uh, Canon cameras come together. So, of course, as you can expect from a major uh, brand of cameras, it is uh, very well made, very tedious to take apart, with very precise parts. <coughs> so, it appears that the uh, body panels each one of them is holding another one in place. So you have to remove them in a very specific order. As here, uh, most of the screws are removed, but it is still quite strong, in fact. Very uh, impressive, uh, even. So I will show you the steps to uh, remove the outer uh, panels in this video. So first you have to unscrew this left panel here with uh, AV out plug, the uh, micro speaker and the flash button. <coughs> so you have to remove the screws here and unclip here. And it comes right off as you can see. <coughs> very very complicated part here. It is plastic, but uh, quite a nice quality one. So here we are. As you can see, it is full. So there is a problem, obviously, with this flex connector here. Someone who has been in here previously and did break the tabs on this connector, it seems. Then I can remove the Inch cover here. This is just one screw, and so it unclips like this. And here is the inch quite complicated thing, in fact. You can see the wiring harness going to the display. Then, once it is done, you can remove the back panel. There is a few screws all around here and one long here. You have to remove this uh, rubber thing for the few finger. And when it is done, the back panel will come off, kind of. There it is. As you can see, it is quite nice because the buttons, there is an overlay for the buttons, but there is no wiring. Everything remains the main part. Then, I could remove this, uh, I'll view this uh, display, but not yet. Then, you have to remove more screws from here from the uh, under the flash here and here. You have to disconnect this time. This wire harness it is for the front microphones here, stereo microphones. You have to unroute the wires and uh, this flex circuit is for the uh, buttons here. You have to, <coughs> to unroute also. And here it comes. So it is quite interesting to see. The microphones here with uh, rubber uh, pads behind them, some foam here. This part, this handle part is uh, separate. You can uh, remove it with two screws. We have an aluminum ring here. So here is uh, how it looks inside the camera now. You can see the very clearly the battery compartment. You can see the big uh, flash capacitor down here. 
This is the famous uh, ultrasonic wave motor made of uh, brass it seems. The lens, lens assembly is, uh, is uh, one uh, compact thing. Quite neat. Here you have the main uh, control board which holds the Digic 2 microprocessor which is quite a good one I think. You have uh, big uh, flex circuits here for the uh, CCD and lens. All the uh, buttons on the metal uh, bracket here. Then the next thing I can remove is this upper control panel. For this, uh, I don't remember, yes, there is one flex circuit here which is already removed. I did do it previously. And some clips you have to undo. There is one screw down here which is already removed, I saw. And it should come, yes. So there are little clips keeping the things in place. So if you have some kind of uh, power control board, here is the uh, top button assembly. So it is missing a union cover here. If not, it comes in a one single unit. So it is quite good for uh, repair purpose. In fact, if you have a problem with one of these buttons, you can get the entire assembly and just uh, replace it. <coughs> or get one for another camera. Okay, so next thing I can do for now, I will remove this uh, viewfinder. There are two screws, one here. Somebody has been in these cameras uh, previously and some of the uh, flex collectors are devil it seems. It is well they are not working. You have uh, one grounding wire here. Yeah. And two connectors that run right out like this. So this is a nice little display with a metal casing here. Maybe used for something, maybe. Here is a little micro switch that detects the, when it is open or closed. Then uh, I can now try to remove this uh, upper assembly with a flash on the viewfinder. Which is an electronic viewfinder with a little uh, LCD display, by the way. So there is a flat connector here and one last screw here. But it is coming now. But I am annoyed with these wires. That should require a soldering. But as this uh, specific camera is uh, tossed. And it will be my training camera for uh, disassembly and reassembly. I think I will just cut the wires for now. It will be easier, and anyway, this one is not coming together again. And this was the flash discharge in my hand. It is worth because I did not touch the capacitor at all. Maybe it is because I was uh, cutting the wire. But it was quite, uh, it was not a very big uh, discharge. In fact, I could have killed myself right now. This is quite fun. So here we are. Here we are. 
I will try to discharge completely this capacitor because, as you can see, they are quite heavy. With this screwdriver, I believe I could do it. I am only touching plastic right now. Yes, as you can see, there was still quite a few. So on the next camera I will take apart. I will do it first. And now we are safe. Nasty little bastards. Okay, so we'll stop it for now. As you can see here, we have a flash assembly. <coughs> With a tiny, tiny electronic viewfinder, which will be interesting to look at. There is a um, small uh, PCB here holding a, a switch, it seems, for the flash. And uh, here is the camera almost uh, naked, so as you can see. There is obviously one main plastic uh, structure here, one main uh, metal bracket here, the uh, main PCB and the lens assembly, which should come as uh, one uh, single unit. So guys, do not forget to discharge the flash capacitors as soon as you can. In fact, I did uh, try this camera previously, but it, it has been a few days. And uh, it is uh, without batteries since a few days. And as you can see, there was still uh, quite a decent charging glass capacitor. Now... Well, maybe I can remove... I will try to do it now. Because I think... This uh, wall metal bracket is... on this upper PCB are one single thing. So, if I remove... Here. Mm. Not sure this comes together, so maybe this one here. Yes, this one here. And uh, not very obvious. Uh, ah, maybe here. There is uh, this cover for the plugs. It has to go anyway. And now. I think, I think, I think, yes, I may have to unsolder this two post. It is for the um, battery contacts, obviously. So, yes, it is holding the PCB in place. But when it will be done, this wall assembly will come off. So, it will be for the next uh, video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.